Mikey FB, and I'm back again. It's been a while since I did it, so I had to go in. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the past and present with the Jack City on a beat. You know I had to represent it. First, let me tell you about the team. He don't need scary face while he stands so mean. He can bite the bullet or bust through the whole scene. Keep the people's champ and like and he's the king. Up next is our big man Tubby Tub. Trying to get his happiness to grow like with a belly rub. Tackling lick, had to give his moves a plug. He'll take your ass to the cleaners with a bubble beam. Rub a dub. Say the least, we got our dragon and the ancient change with him, but shit, he's still plenty. Now we got some newcomers to the rapping game. First up is chaos coming in, and he's cloaked in flames. And like these lines, he's hot, he's on his way to the top. If you run to pause, he won't stop. But right now, Ember's all he's got. Returning like a mummy from the grave, come back one more time and he'll leave your ass amazed. Coming from the fossil that he was locked in, Scott the Ampharos is just a little bit shocking. Last on the roster is a basic Pokemon, I stole the name from my wife cause she's got it going on. Flawless as a bottle of Ace Pinot Noir, I'm looking forward to the future, I call it a Gardevoir. Now we're up to the present, that's enough with the past. Four badges into our journey and it's gone by so fast. So here we are in Nimbasa with Route 5 and 16. Sang a few encounters, but we bust in the scene. Cause just through the gate is Charon and Elena meeting up with these friends. It's just such a pain. I don't think I really want to do it, but we've come this far. The first half might be over, but now here we are. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to episode number 13 of our Pokemon White Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge here on the channel. Now before anything else, before anything else, before anything else, let me get this out of the way. If you are enjoying our content, enjoyed the rap grinding montage that we had, make sure you hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it so, so much. And if, and only if you know who framed Roger Rabbit, make sure you subscribe for some more regular content on the channel. Now I want to give a huge, 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 huge shout out to Glitch X City again for the amazing remix that we used on our grinding montage that I was able to kind of put my voice over and probably embarrass myself once again. But as you can tell right now, there's no gameplay screen and I don't know why, but let's take a look. What's this? Oh, <gasps> Tubby Tub is evolving? Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this for so, so long. I'm just so excited. And here it comes. Our big man Tubby Tub has evolved from a Munchlax into a Snorlax. So that is super exciting. I didn't realize how attached I was to Tubby Tub until this grinding montage, which we'll talk about that in, in just a little bit. So we're still here in the desert resort because I was grinding here and let's go oh, let's heal real quick because we are done with grinding um, I like to grind by the nurses and doctors that are able to heal me in a pinch But let's go over a quick team recap because we did do a lot of grinding as you saw So we'll start off with our level 24 brand new Snorlax Tubby Tub the Snorlax still with the same moveset with Tackle Cross Poison Bubble Beam and Lick up next we've got Flawless our little god of war or Curlia now it evolved it was the first level I didn't think I wanted to end that right away and I didn't want to cut the grinding around uh, montage so we went with Curlia the uh, level 24 flawless flawless level 24 Curlia uh, with confusion double team teleport and magical leap we got teeth to come through and bite the bullet all the way up to level 26 holding that muscle band to power up those physical attacks rock and cut bite water gun and ice fang still same moveset for just about everybody I believe we've got our modest nature chaos holding the wise glasses to power up those special attacks attacks even further level 25 leer flame wheel ember and quick attack and last but not least we've got scott our Ampharos, who is going to be level 27 our highest level with thunder shock thunder wave cotton spore and charge oh i'm sorry we forgot about our dragon envy with rage bite leer and headbutt also level 24 my goal was kind of to get him get the whole party up to level 24 because we were a little bit under leveled for what we were working with and especially I believe there is going to be uh, a little bit of a level jump coming up so we're gonna make our way back to Nimbasa City here in just a moment 
Oh, look at Tubby Tub! Look at Tubby Tub! Oh, I'm so excited! Let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fight. Why not? Um, we'll try and speed through this so we can get moving. But like I said in the grinding montage, if you didn't go to catch that, I did kind of give a little bit of a synopsis of what we're trying to get done in today's episode and moving forward. We are, are, we are in uh, Nimbasa City and we're trying to make it route, up Route 15, 16? I think it was 16. We have an encounter and then Route 5 um, is where Elisa, Elena, I can never remember her name, wanted to meet us. But first things first, let's go ahead and we'll head over to this field so we can get our first encounter. Uh, hopefully we can scoop up a couple of encounters this episode. But here we are. We've got Tubby Tub out front. He is level 24, so we got to be careful. Let's make sure we have some balls. I'm just trying to go over everything in my head before I screw something up. It's been so long since I played. I'm just so excited to be back. Where are all my balls at? Oh, I do have a Master Ball. I remember getting that. Nine Ultra Balls. We are fine. And our first encounter on Route 16 is... A Chimchar! We have got starters and starters and starters, but we've already got a fire starter in Chaos. So hopefully, I'm, obviously I want to catch it. But um, even if we do, we're going to stick with... We're going to stick with Chaos. Okay, how, how can we go about this in the smartest manner? Let's go out to Chaos and use an Ember. Because it's, it's only a basic Pokemon. Chaos is stage two. Um, we've got a lot of fully evolved Pokemon. Okay, so that's not doing anything to me. Let's see how much an ember does to this little chimchar. Okay, perfect. So we can probably use two and then an ultra ball should be able to catch it. I hope. So one more ember. Are you kidding me, a crit? That is not how I wanted to start off today's episode. Ugh. I mean, I'm still smiling because I'm so happy that Tubby Tub evolved. And we already have a fire starter, but oh, that really sucks. I'm kind of pissed about that. But that's all right. Uh, let's explore the route a little bit before we head over to Route 5 because there will be some storyline there. Shock drive! So we've got a. I think that's our second or third drive for Genesec, so maybe we can find one of them. Uh, is this a new area? What do we got? We could have had a Goldeen. We already have. We have a very well rounded team. Like, there's not too much that we're missing. I did notice we have a little bit of a... We had a little bit of trouble with those elect, uh, Electrikes? Electiviers? Is this... Lost Lorne Forest. So this is a new area. Let's go ahead and get another encounter. We already forfeited one. EXP share! Oh my gosh, we are getting the best items on the grinding montage. We also got a uh, expert belt. A Machamp. Wow. This is... <laughs> Uh, let's get, uh, I, no, Tubby Tub, I'm sorry, but you need to get out of here. I'm kind of intimidated by this thing. I really don't know. Flawless is kind of frail still. We're four levels above. Everything new faint attack in our grinding montage. And I was so scared for little, little Flawless's life because it's frail, like I was saying. Focus energy. Oh my gosh, I don't even, I might just take this thing out. I don't even want to deal with this. Okay, let's Thunder Wave it. Foresight. Okay. I'm really kind of nervous. I don't think Thundershock will take you out at all. I don't think it will. There's no way, right? I am seven levels above. Did I just kill our second ink? Okay, that's fine. Focusing energy, it's failed. Okay. Please get fully paralyzed. Don't crit. Oh, I don't want to crit this thing. Let's see how an Ultra Ball does. Let's see, not Pokemon. Let's see how an Ultra Ball does. And maybe we can catch this Machamp. Maybe we can catch this Machamp. Matching Bianca's, right? Bianca has the Machamp and Sharon has the X-Block. Here we go, one, two, three, and oh, we were so close. Oh, okay, okay, that's all right. That's all right, that's all right. Let's uh, let's use another. That was close enough. I don't want to. I don't want to knock this thing out. I want to have some uh, options in the PC in case anything unexpected happens. So there's one, two, three, and got it. There we go. We got our Machamp. Another stage two Pokemon. Very very good. Very very powerful. So we've got the superpower Pokemon. 
All right, so some people, you know, go with the wrestlers or the bodybuilders. I think I'm going to name this my champ Ronnie for Ronnie Coleman. Uh, if you don't know who he is, look him up on Google. He looks like a monster. He's like 11 time Mr. Olympia or something like that. So we got Ronnie, uh, our Machamp, sent to the PC. Don't think we're going to be using him just yet. Uh, do we want to? Let's go ahead and give Flawless our EXP. See, there's our expert belt that we just got. Let's give our EXP share to Flawless because Flawless isn't holding anything. And let's see if is there anything else up here. I don't really want to battle too much. Mm. What do we have here? Oh, you know, there are people in the world with many different values. Some people enjoy things you might not think are fun. Having a lot of different values in the world makes it a richer place. That's what I think anyways. I really enjoy traveling around the world and talking with different people, but the woman who lives in here seems to think living quietly by herself is important. It puts the lotion on the skin. Let's see what this lady wants. Ah! She doesn't want to talk. Hmm, might have to explore these options a little bit later. Uh, I'm sure this has triggered some sort of event, but... Uh, it's been so long since I played this, I don't really remember. So, we got our encounter. That is what is important, and we actually caught it. One more than we thought we were going to get today. So, let's still... Let's go explore the route. Oh, we could have got a double battle. That would have been cool. Goldie. Let's get out of here. Do I still have some repels? So I looked it up finally because I felt like such an idiot as I was trying to use repels. Uh, I didn't realize you had to be higher level. I don't know if that's like that in every game. I didn't think it was. But, okay, so we didn't battle this. We didn't battle many trainers because we got to the route and then I just wanted to get straight into training. So now we can see. Oh my gosh, look at how strong Tubby Tub is. I can't wait till it gets a little bit better of a move set. Also, that's gonna be great. Uh, we got strength. We don't have strength yet. Look away, damn it. Jerk. Okay, well, we were bound to fight him anyways. Heard you. So what was I saying, what was I saying, what was I saying? I get so off topic and so excited. Wow, that thing is bulky. Let's get out of here. Tubby Tub does not need to faint. So, sorry, I just had to cough really quickly. Uh, no, oh darn it, oh darn it. Okay, good, that did it. I need to get rid of rage. I wanted to take this episode, wow, my voice sounded bad there. <clears throat> I wanted to take this episode to kind of talk a little bit to you guys just about kind of myself, what's going on in my life. And uh, I don't think I've really done it since the first couple episodes, so I thought now would be a good time to get to know each other again. Uh, as you might have heard in the grinding montage, I did get the name Flawless from my wife. I am married. I got married back in September to the love of my life. Um, oh, if you guys want to see something cool here, I know. Let's see if we can get it to focus up on here, maybe. This is my wedding ring. The top half of that ring is made from dinosaur bone, and the bottom half is made from meteorite. So I'm just, you know, rocking around with a uh, Tyrantrum and uh, Doom Desire from Jirachi on my finger. But uh, that's pretty exciting. It's made of titanium, uh, the rest of the, the material is. But uh, yeah, I got married back in September. Uh, very, very happy. We've been together for about five years. And I got her into playing Pokemon X, and one of her favorite Pokemon was Gardevoir, and she named it Flawless. So in honor of her, I wanted to name Gardevoir Flawless. But I wanted to actually sit down and talk to you guys about my life, not just drop a ball, uh, uh, drop a bomb like that, and then just kind of keep on going. Um, like I said before, we're going to head over to Route 5 now and meet up with the Nimbasa City Gym Leader. Like I said before, I am in, let's see if we can find her. I think she's right here, right? And there is Sharon! <clears throat> Mikey B, stop. You've got the bolt badge. I've got the bolt badge. 
let's test who's one hell of a trainer, you or me. This time, I'm going to win. So here we go again with like the millionth rival battle in this Let's Play, but we're up against Charon who has four Pokemon, so quite a few. I believe they're around. Ooh, Saw's Buck, I hope this thing doesn't, that thing looks intimidating. Half. I hope this thing doesn't have close combat or anything like that. But we do have Tubby Tub to cross poison for super effective, right? Let's see how our newly trained, and it's a good thing we did our grinding montage when we did because we would not be ready for this if we didn't. Wow, one-shotting the sauce buck, oh, with the crit. Way to go, Tubby Tub. Oh my goodness. And we got the EXP share on Flawless. I forgot about that. Hippopotas. So that's, let's go with, let's bring out teeth, let's bring out teeth. I want to give everybody a little bit of screen time today. I know Tubby Tub's up front, but he's at one of our lower levels. And I want to level evenly. So look at the little Hippopotas. Hippo, Hippopotas? I think that's how you say it. I hope it is. Whatever. Let's Ice Fang. Bite down teeth. Arr! Uh, during the grinding montage, I also found out that Teeth uh, must have Serene Grace because it was freezing everything. I don't have a flying type Pokemon, do I? I don't really want anybody to take this dig. I think Tubby Tub's gonna be the best to do it. This should hurt, but it shouldn't do too much. Come on, Tubby Tub! Come on! Oh, it's not Tubby Tub! Teeth! What the hell am I saying? It's Teeth! Ice Fang! Arr! There we go! Okay, so two down, we're halfway there. Not trying to have any casualties. Flawless gained a little bit. We're buffeted by these. Carablast, perfect time to bring in chaos, cloaked in flames. I'm just so excited. It's been so long. I've wanted to record episode 13 since like the minute that I stopped recording episode 12. Let's go with Ember. I think that by now your special attack should outweigh it. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Um, like I was saying, x -Powder. Here is the hard one. Who do we go out to for this? Scott can take a hit, we'll paralyze. And hopefully nothing too crazy happens. Um, but like I was saying, like I was saying, like I was saying, I work in medical records, so everything's just about the same there. Uh, got about a year left in school, a little bit less than, until I graduate with my bachelor's degree uh, in healthcare administration. That's what I'm going for. Okay, let's uh, let's pay attention so we don't screw anything up. Right on, right on par, and I believe that usually the rivals are a little bit lower than the upcoming trainers. Let's see how much bite does. That's not too bad. Okay, Scott can come through. Scott can come through. Oh my gosh! Oh, these crits are driving me in. Oh, and I almost died to that. Oh my gosh, this is not the way. Unlucky number 13. You damn right, Jaren, it's not over yet. But we are going to switch out to our big man, Tubby Tub, because he is. Thick, 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 he won't be taking too much damage, and hopefully we can get a paralysis. Maybe get a little hacks on our side. No such luck. But we should be able to finish off this x with a tackle, and there goes Charon. So good and done. We took care of that with relative ease. And Flawless grew to level 25. Heal Pulse. There's no need for Heal Pulse. Heal Pulse is just a move that heals your ally or whoever's across from you, I think. I don't know the exact dynamics of it because I never really use it. But in singles, in regular playthrough, it's not really worth it. Why? Why can't I beat you? Like, ew! Oh, you two are friends? That's ew! How you're helping each other get better at by competing. Okay, let's go. Oh, what do we have going on here? Okay, what voice do we give him? What voice do we give this guy? We'll give him like a, a wise... Oh, I don't want to give him an Asian voice and end up getting stuck in that again. Oh, if it isn't Elisa! Ha! 
ha! Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. Who is this man? Eh, this is Alder, the Innova Regents champion, like eh. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? Oh, you little jerk! I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young bastard, aren't ya? My name is Alder. I'm the Unova Regents Champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Uh, I'm Sharon from Nuvema Town. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. Huh. Well, traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming the champion? What else is there other than striving to become one hell of a trainer? The strongest trainer. That's the champion. <laughs> becoming stronger, becoming stronger, you say. Is that alone enough of a goal? Listen up! It's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong, but mine is better. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important too. If you play with those children, you might gain more understanding. Will you two have a Pokemon battle with those two? Hey, get over here. Come here for a moment. Understood. But before that, Sharon fully healed us. That was very nice of you, Sharon, after I whooped that ass. Okay, let's battle. So here we go, double battle with Sharon, and we've met Alder, the Pokemon League champion. And we've got an Archon and a Nuzleaf. We've set up Tubby Tub, right? Sussbuck and Tubby Tub. So we've got not too much to worry about here. Let's go ahead and take out... Let's tackle the Nuzleaf. And it faked me out, so it didn't really matter what I did. Thank goodness that thing did not use Jump Kick on me. I would have freaked out. Hey, Tubby Tub grew to level 25, feeling so alive. Everything's great. Chip away. Let's take a look at what that is. I'm not exactly sure. Looking for an opening. The user strikes con continually. The target stat change don't affect. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Lick, right? It's 20. There's... Do I want to get rid of Lick? Let's get rid of Tackle. Yeah, let's get rid of Tackle. And we learned. Chip away! And I flinched and could not do. So let's try our brand new Chip away. I guess I probably should have used Bubble Beam because it's rock, right? Rock, Archon's rock. Oh my goodness, it still does so much! And we'll Bubble Beam to finish it up. So there we go, we beat those two little kids. Oh, funny story about that, don't let me forget, don't let me forget, I want to tell you something funny about that. <laughs> Nicely done! You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokémon looked like they were having fun! Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are people who are happy just being with Pokemon. <laughs> there are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I hold different views, differing views. But so be it. Give it some thought. Yeah, let's roll. The Driftfell Drawbridge is just ahead. So there we have it, we have some... Mm, the champion is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. Sharon, thick-headed, want to be the best Sharon, didn't learn. So what do we got going on here? I'll show you all the moves that my Pokemon have mastered. So I think we can battle these people. Let's go ahead, I'm not one to turn down experience. Let's chip away. Oh my gosh, Tubby Tub is so strong. Drillbur. Let's go ahead and get Envy out here. I don't know why I would want Envy out here now that I'm thinking about it. Is Drillbur Steel yet? It's not. Okay, perfect. So that worked out well. 
So anyways, the story that I wanted to tell you about uh, be- beating little kids. I went to a anime convention. It was Shudokan last year. It was a uh, gift from my wife. We dressed up as Luffy and Zoro from One Piece. It was totally awesome. But there was a Pokemon tournament that they had. It was, uh, you come with a team of six. It was like Battle Spot Singles. Ooh, we got Nidor in. Let's switch out. Battle Spot Singles. So you brought six. You could only fight with three. And for my first four matches, it was all against girls who were like 12 years old. And I felt so bad. Not, not, not you know, not to say that like, not to say girls can't play Pokemon. Obviously they can. There are plenty of girls who are much better than I am. But um, I, I told my brother about it and he would ask, oh, who'd you battle? Was, oh, it was some little girl. And he kept making fun of me that, oh, you can only beat up on little girls. I hope you can't sleep at night because you made them cry and stuff like that. It was just kind of, it, it was it was funny. Just the the banter that we had going back at, back and forth. I got an electric guitar. I have no clue what this does. Oh, it's a prop. Okay. So let's see if there's any other trainers here. I think that dancing man over there. Let's see if we can come up with a better Jamaican accent. <gasps> turn around, turn around. That was pathetic. Oh my gosh. I'm going to I'm going to listen to YouTube videos of people talking in a Jamaican accent so I can learn one. So we got a little Chingling. Yeah, it's Chingling that Elisa's hair looks like. I knew, I knew it looked familiar. Chip away. Oh, do a shop. Perfect time to bring out Flawless. Flawless hasn't seen battle yet this episode. Ooh, and we're gonna guts. And we're gonna grow a level so we can confusion. Almost one shot. And there we go, we took out that thing. Level 26. Let's, let's bring Envy up front because I wanna grow Envy levels as well, obviously. So we got this old man. Oh, hi, trainer. That shouldn't be a problem, right? Let's headbutt. Flinch, yes, flinch. Crit, seismic toss. And we should be able to finish up with a headbutt. No problem. Oh my gosh. I'm just having so much fun going through this game. I can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to this. Let's go ahead and run back and heal real quick before we get into anything crazy. I'm not sure exactly what's coming up, but I could definitely see Team Plasma interfering very shortly. And I think we should pick up some medicine while we're here. Oh, I forgot we have a bike. Sorry, I was, uh, I got a little lost there. So let's head up on our bike back over to Route 5 and see if we can meet up with Sharon and Elena. So, okay. I think that right here is going to be the best spot to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. We are at about 25 minutes plus the grinding montage. So we've got some time into the uh, episode 13, but, Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for tuning into our episode. I appreciate it so, so much. If you did enjoy our grinding montage, excited for what's to come, anything like that, hit that thumbs up. We are going to try to, and that's what I forgot to say, I wanted to bring light goals back to the beginning of the episodes, completely blanked. I'm going to try to make a note so that I do it next episode. But I want to try to hit a powerful 12 likes for this episode. If we can make that happen um, consistently, then we'll continue to have these wrapping grinding montages I think that's fair and we're right around 12 for most of the episodes anyways um, if you do want to see more regular content make sure you subscribe and follow on Twitter so you can get all of those updates but on Wednesday we will be back for episode number 14 to see what Sharon and Elena want to do and maybe make it to Driftvale City uh, but now that that's all said and done I just want to say thank you so much once again and I will see you guys on Wednesday see ya